ಓಮ ಜ್ಞಾನತಿರಂಧ್ಯ ಜ್ಞಾನಾಂಜನ ಶಲಾಕಯ ಚಕ್ಷುರು ಮಿಲಿತ ಯೇನ ತಸ್ಮೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುವೇ ನಮ ನಮ ಓಂ ವಿಷ್ಣುಪಾದ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪ್ರಸ್ಥಾಯ ಭೂತಲೆ ಶ್ರೀಮತೆ ಭಕ್ತಿ ವೇದಾಂತ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ನಿತಿ ನಾಮಿನೆ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ಸಾರಸ್ವತೆ ದೇವೆ ಗೌರವಾಣಿ ಪ್ರಚಾರಿಣೆ ನಿರ್ವಿಶೇಷ ಶೂನ್ಯವಾದಿ ಪಾಶ್ಚಾತ್ಯ ದೇ ಸತಾರಿಣೆ ನಮೋ ಮಹಾಬದನ್ಯಾಯ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪ್ರೇಮ ಪ್ರದಾಯತೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣಾಯ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ನಾಮಿನೆ ಗೌರತಿ ಸೇ ನಮಃ ಹೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕರುಣಾ ಸಿಂಧು ದೀನಬಂಧು ಜಗತ್ಪತೆ ಗೋಪೇಶ ಗೋಪಿಕಾಕಾಂತ ರಾಧಾಕಾಂತ ನಮಸ್ತುತೆ ತಪ್ತ ಕಾಂಚನ ಗೌರಾಂಗಿ ರಾಧೆ ಬೃಂದಾವನೇಶ್ವರಿ ವೃಷಭಾನುಸುತೆ ದೇವಿ ಪ್ರಣಮಿ ಹರಿಪ್ರಿಯೆ ವಾಂಚಾಕಲ್ಪ ತರುವ್ಯಶ್ಯ ಕೃಪಾ ಸಿಂಧು ವ್ಯಯ ಚ ಪತಿ ಪಾವನೆಭ್ಯೋ ವೈಷ್ಣವೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಜಯ ಶ್ರೀ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀ ಅದ್ವೈತ ಗದಾಧಾರ ಶಿವಾಸಾದಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತ ಬೃಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಮುಖಂ ಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚಾಲಂ ಪಂಗುಂ ಲಂಘಾಯ ತೇ ಗಿರಿಂ ಯತ್ ಕೃಪಾ ತಮಹಂ ವಂದೇ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರು ದೀನತಾರಿಣಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಪರಮಾನಂದ ಮಾಧವಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಚೈತನ್ಯನೀಶ್ವರ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಸೊ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ಡ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಹೌ ಟು ಗಿವ್ ನೈಸ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಸೊ ಟುಡೇ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಸಮ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕಷನ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಅವರ್ ಅಸೈನ್ಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಐ ಹೋಪ್ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಅಸೈನ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಡನ್ ಬೈ ಎವ್ರಿ ಒನ್ ಎಸ್ ಹೌ ಮೆನಿ ಆಫ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಡನ್ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಅಸೈನ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಹೌ ವೆರಿ ಗುಡ್ ವೆರಿ ಗುಡ್ first assignment was beginning of the june month so the enthusiasm was a little bit there so i think every month beginning i have to give some dose uh, just like uh, the doctor told me your vitamin d is very less so once in a week you have to take a heavy dose of vitamin d and then throughout the week you are charged so like that okay so this was uh, uh, the if you remember this was the Mm, first assignment okay is it visible to everyone yes sir okay visible so uh, mm, the first question is that uh, was it fair on the part of lord vishnu to so such a type of love it is explained in this uh, uh, context that uh, uh, vishnu showed a special type of love by ensuring that anga maharaj gets such a bad son that he will get out of the family life so is this fair in terms of vishnu uh, so uh, how can this be called as love what if krishna does to me let us say krishna does this to shri nitadas so sometimes new devotees hear about this and fear worshiping lord vishnu yes please raise hand and we will complete very fast so what you have some notes you have some notes yes anyone would like to speak okay sweta mathi has raised hand yes hare krishna pramani hmm. namaste pratap as per the question applies mm. i think it is fair uh, how can this be na call now because uh, uh, the prem jo hai wo aise nahi hai ki hamare jo hame chahiye wahi mile tabhi wo prem hai jo hamare liye acha hai wo prem hai so i think that is why kyunki devta log jo hai wo isse tarah ka rakhte hai ki hum jo chahte hai wo hame milta hai ಸುನೀತಾ ಮಾತಾಜಿ ಯು ಹಾವ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ಅದರ್ ದೆನ್ ದಿಸ್ 
Okay, so uh, Lord Vishnu will not give anything to fulfill our material desires. Exactly, that is not the point. The point here is we need to understand that uh, Lord Vishnu doesn't want us to suffer. So it is not Vishnu who made Anga. to suffer can anyone say what made anga suffer can anyone say what made anga suffer are you yes yes anga suffered because of his ati prayas okay anga suffered because of his ati prayas okay okay um Anga suffered because of his ati prayas. Hmm. Hare Krishna, probably Dandabad. Ah, Dandabad. I, I think probably he suffered because of karmic cycle of his own. Okay, life. he suffered because of his karmic cycle. Okay, Monali Samarth ji. Prasanjit Prabhu, Mohit Prabhu, Prakash Prabhu, can you switch on your videos? Yes, ha. Huh. Hare Krishna, Prabhu ji, Dandabad Pranam. Hare Krishna, Prabhu ji, Dandabad Pranam. Can you hear me, Pranam? Yes. so basically what what all of you said ati prayas and all these things we can uh, ultimately boil it down to misuse of free will so all of us are suffering not because of vishnu but because of misusing the free will that vishnu has given all of us we are trying to misuse the free will that vishnu has given us that is the suffering vishnu has already created a plan for him and uh, the demigods were not coming for anga to uh, give him a son actually he was supposed to suffer his karmic cycle his karmic cycle was to uh, uh, suffer the uh, uh, what was his karmic cycle the karmic cycle karmic cycle is either no son or a bad son so vishnu thought of having no son it is better right but then he misused his free will to get a bad son so we are all suffering it is not about it is not about fair or unfair actually we have to understand that we are misusing free will <clears throat> so vishnu is is not vishnu is always loving us lord vishnu loves us in any situation whether we use our free will misuse our free will we have uh, uh, karma we have no karma we have good karma we have bad karma we are in hell we are anga we are bena vishnu is loving us 
Vishnu has not put Anga Maharaj in the predicament. Vishnu, Anga Maharaj put himself Anga Maharaj so the right thing is Anga Maharaj put himself in the predicament and Vishnu tried ensuring that he advances in that situation. Is this not love? Huh? Is this not love? So, if Anga Maharaj would not have uh, done Ati Prayas and would have not got a son throughout his life, then Vishnu would have also created, used that situation so that he would have advanced. Now, no son for Anga Maharaj would have given him a smoother roadway. So, Vishnu is like for devotees. So, now we will, uh, uh, now we will. So, for devotees, or also non devotees, so Lord Vishnu. gives direction now the choice of road lies in our hands which road to choose let us say This is a crossroad, and there are two pathways. So, here is a devotee of the Lord. Now, if he chooses this pathway, he can choose this pathway. Now, if the devotee chooses this pathway, Vishnu will direct in that pathway. If the devotee chooses this pathway, Vishnu will direct this pathway. How to go in that pathway? Now, every path will have his own uh, uh, good things and bad things. Because ultimately, all these paths are product of material world. And because these are products of material world, the dwanda or duality has to be there. We cannot remove duality from material world. Right? So, what Krishna does it for devotees, devotees choose some path and then Krishna tries to help the devotee what path he has chosen how he can advance. Now, if a devotee chooses a horrible path, so Krishna says, okay, you have chosen a horrible path. Now, I can help you how you can advance spiritually in this path. Right? If a devotee chooses a simple path, then Krishna can say, okay, how I can advance, how, help you advance in this path. So, we need to understand Krishna loves devotees or Krishna is loving all of us because Krishna doesn't interfere with our free will and what sometimes sometimes when we say that uh, Krishna doesn't interfere uh, 
with free will it looks like as if krishna is indifferent but krishna is not indifferent because indifferent means tumko jo karna hai karo tumko jo path lena hai lo krishna is not like that you choose your path i will help you in your path only if you choose material world path i will help you whatever i can help what is best for you in that material path i will choose if you choose a spiritual path i will help you how you can go and do have the best in the spiritual world so this is this not love krishna is not indifferent if one is choosing to murder someone so uh, that is his free will he can murder now post murder krishna, uh, krishna is if krishna, krishna loves the murderer also even post murder also krishna will not leave the murderer krishna will show him the path krishna will still show him the path or if he is not ready to uh, ready to be shown the path then krishna will arrange that he is caught he is persecuted he is so this is love so that his his murdering tendency is transformed so krishna is not indifferent in giving us the free will but krishna offers us the free will and also krishna offers us the best guidance within the chosen path <coughs> right <coughs> so this is only for devotees <coughs> this is not for materialist because for materialist krishna gives hands them over to uh, prakriti and prakriti does through the karma and, uh, and all those things but especially those who become devotees so krishna doesn't even interfere with the free will of the devotees now when a person becomes pure devotee <clears throat> so pure devotees allow or give full permission to krishna to interfere with their free will so this is for <clears throat> devotees this is for pure devotees and for <clears throat> materialist krishna hands them over to the system of karma so when when a person is saying that i am uh, fearful when a person is saying some new devotees uh, hear about this and they are they are fearful of worshiping vishnu so one has to understand that until or less you are pure devotee vishnu is not going to interfere with your free will you do whatever you want to do so you have no fear vishnu is not going to interfere in your life until unless you become pure devotee 
But for devotees, Vishnu loves them so much that even if he doesn't interfere with their free will, whatever free will he, the, uh, the, uh, the devotee chooses, Vishnu tries to help him, uh, guide him so that he can advance. So, in the Anga Maharaj case, so Anga Maharaj was definitely not a pure devotee. He was a devotee. He loved Krishna. But he had material desires and he did Ati Prayas and as all of you said and uh, somehow got a, uh, he chose to uh, get a son though he was informed that your karmic uh, things do not have a son but still he wanted a son Jabardasti and that's how because uh, he, uh, he chose, chose this path of getting a bad son Krishna used that path somehow to, so that he can advance in Krishna consciousness. So, based on our category, whether we are in category 1, category 2 or category 3, Krishna will act differently in our life. And in all the three categories, Krishna loves us. Even in the category of materialist, Krishna loves them because the Krishna has handed the, them over to the system of karma because they don't want to be handled by Krishna. They have chosen that Amko Bhagwan chod dije. They say the son and daughter they say to parents, Papa chod dije Hamko. Don't interfere in our life. So then Papa chod dete hai. Jo karna hai karo. Now the son and daughter is under the government of India. And the son may go to police, uh, do wrong things, go to police, good things, like that. Chod di ji, chod di so, based on what category we are in, whether we are devotees, pure devotees or materialist, we, uh, uh, Krishna acts in our life in a different way. Now, since uh, uh, Anga Maharaj was a mixed devotee or a materialistic devotee, he had material desires in his heart. And he wanted to satisfy his material desires. So, Krishna used his material desires or whatever it is to help him advance in spiritual life. Okay. Any question? Is this clear? I can show you. Yeah. This verse, Yasyaham Anugrahanami, hmm. that comes under which, for which devotee it is? This is for pure devotees. Yasyaham Anugrahanami. Harishye Taddhanam Sane Yasyaham Was This is for pure devotee. Okay. Krishna will not steal away anything from the devotees, from the mixed devotees. Only for the pure devotees, Krishna will take away everything. So, Anga Maharaj was a, uh, was a case of this category. Mixed devotee. And for that is why Krishna showed his, showed his love by, okay, you choose your path. I will help you to advance whatever path you choose based on your free will. That also Krishna will just give guidance. Okay, to me dharva, so you can go. Okay. Hmm. 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 Nein. So, those who are worshippers of Vishnu uh, and uh, they are materialists. So, Prabhuji, Yusuf, Krishna Prabhu is asking those who are worshippers of Vishnu, they are materialists also. What will happen? Krishna, will Krishna hand them over to uh, material energy? So, it is a very uh, difficult question because the material energy is very careful in dealing with them. And Krishna is also very careful in dealing with them. Material energy is also very careful. Are ye bhakt hai, aparad nahi hona chhe. And Krishna is also very careful. Are ye naya bhakt hai, ye uh, kya hoga, iske saath jyada chhed khani karunga to bhaag jayega. Itna muskil se aya hai, pehla class attend kiya hai. So they are like touch me not, handle with care from both the sides. Right? <laughs> yes, in a they are like touch me not, chui mui. Like sometimes some people come for the first class in ISKCON. So they are like touch me not. And sometimes they, they may come uh, like yesterday when I had gone to temple hall. I was paying dandavat and when I got up one pujari came. Ki, Prabhuji you tell me is this allowed? 
one prabhu ji was sitting and he was wearing a half pant almost not half pant in a nikkar type and is this allowed to sit in temple hall <laughs> i said prabhu i don't know is a new person you put some board you tell the dt department to put a board what is allowed what is not allowed i am not going to tell him and if you want you can tell him because <laughs> he is like chui mui type where, where is please mute please mute who was Uh, so he is like chui me type so similarly for uh, new devotees krishna is also very careful material energy is also very careful because material energy also knows ki are zyada chhed khani karenge fir is side aa jayega bahut mushkil se is side aaya hai so they are like touch me not but if they continue to remain new devotees then krishna will hand over to the uh, to the material energy so Uh, uh, just like uh, one day he comes uh, with nikkar second day and then he sees the board and he doesn't follow and second day he comes third day he comes fourth day definitely he is going to get a socks by the security ki are you cannot come like this it is written you are reading but still coming it is not allowed correct so exactly in the same way for new devotees krishna may and the material energy may give for some time little bit of facility <clears throat> and that's how new devotees also they get some special experience how many of you when you had come new to krishna consciousness you had got some special experience kuch aisa hawa laga tha ha abhi sab hawa down ho gaya how many of you felt like that ek kuch hawa lag raha tha aa pehla kya kya wo gana hai my sister se ha kya pehla nasa पहला नशा पहला खुमा खुमा क्या होता है सो सो लाइक दैट खुमार आई डोंट नो क्या खुमार आई डोंट नो व्हाट इट इज बट माय सिस्टर यूज्ड टू सिंग दिस सॉन्ग अ लॉट आई एम ब्रा सो एंड देन उसके बाद अभी तो नशा चला गया अभी तो प्रभु जी का चाबी चल रहा है You have to come five fifteen. Who didn't come? And from next uh, July onwards, every week I will uh, we will send a WhatsApp. Ki why you didn't come? You have to give uh, notice. And every month we will uh, send uh, reports. Ki kon aaya, kon nahi aaya. So uh, so all this pehla nasa goes away. Only for new devotees, Krishna is little careful and uh, once. After two, three, four uh, years, still the person wants to remain materialist. Then Krishna again hands him a boy. Thoda usko pitai karo. Jaise Anga Maharaj ka kiya. He was a devotee, and he had been also some new devotee some time. And then Krishna was giving good, 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 good things. But still he was adamant. Nay, 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 nay. I mind uh, this hona chahiye. And then Krishna hands him over to material energy, gives him a good beating, and then again he comes back to Krishna. so this is how it is there it's not like very black uh, black and white rule that uh, he is under material energy or krishna so both of them try to interfere so krishna sometimes takes helps of material energy and uh, uh, to uh, save him up save save karne ke liye thoda is it clear yeah yes uh, kushal bihari prabhu In one of the lectures of Radhe Shyam Prabhu, hmm. I heard Radhe Shyam Prabhu was explaining <coughs> that uh, sometimes a devotee may uh, actually all either fall down or uh, deviate from the principles of hmm. uh, you know regulative principles. Hmm. So if he goes like that, then Krishna sometimes will kill that devotee hmm. so that he doesn't further continue to do that uh, and you know, continue with the sinful life like that. So. And that is, uh, it, matlab, uh, that is also little fearful thing, you know, hmm. for a devotee. But uh, how it uh, fits in our understanding that Krishna? Yeah. So, has, uh, uh, so one uh, time, uh, 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 one time, one devotee had passed away. So one devotee had passed away, and then this devotee had lot of struggle, lot of struggle. His mind was really, really uh, horrible. and uh, he was not able to he was nice devotee but not able to focus so radhe sham prabhu had said ki uh, if there is so much of struggle sometimes krishna may uh, steal away the body and give give the devotee a new body <coughs> 
so that uh, he can practice uh, Krishna consciousness peacefully. So we can say it is killing or we can say awarding a new life like Asso Medha Yajna, Go Medha Yajna. Uh, we may say killing of a cow, killing of a horse, but we can also say that offering the cow a human life or offering the horse a human body. So that is better. So in Asso Medha Yajna, Go Medha Yajna, the cow, a very old frail cow, either gets a uh, cow body, new young cow body or uh, the cow will get a human body based on his karma also and the karma of the soul is also important. It's not that you put any soul in the Azumeda Yange, he will get a human body. But at least he will get a new cow body if he doesn't have the karma to get a human birth. So in that way, is it, uh, uh, is it not uh, um, good, correct, yes? So it's not killing, offering a better body. So for, for the soul, it is like killing. But for Krishna's point of view, it is not killing, right? Yes. सेकेंड प्रैक्टिकल एप्लीकेशन में वो कहा जाएगा आई थिंक हम कहा मना कर रहे हैं देवी देवता को पूजा मत करो वी आर फॉलोइंग द पारम आर्थिक पाथ देवी देवता को पूजा करो देवी देवता कुछ कुछ देंगे आपको कुछ दुख देंगे कुछ सुख देंगे कुछ होंगे वो देवी देवता का पोस्ट भी कभी जा सकता है नया पोस्ट वाला आएगा वो आपको देगा ही नहीं आप कितना भी पूजा करो इट्स अ पोस्ट ना इट्स अ पोस्ट यू पुंडो वर्स इट ना वी आर वी आर वी आर गिव यू यू नॉलेज ऑफ हाउ टू गो बैक टू गॉड हेड नॉट ऑफ हाउ टू स्टे इन मटेरियल वर्ल्ड so you have to be very clear why you are coming here just like uh, someone is coming for electronics engineering class so is very clear he will learn electronics engineering but he if he starts putting the electrode and probes into the body of karan and uh, telling uska kitna blood pressure hai main napunga and why prabhu ji the blood pressure nahi dikha raha hai karan ka are this is ammeter this is volt meter it will take uh, it is used for taking out current and measuring current it cannot measure blood pressure and if you are so obsessed about finding out blood pressure of current become a doctor go to a nursing institute don't come to a electronics engineering institute so we have to make very clear maybe in the bhagavad gita class also you see the bhagavad gita basics and you see everyone should hear bhagavad gita advanced ka first lecture i had given recently it is very clear basics of bhagavad gita means you do some bhagavad gita for shanti advanced bhagavad gita means we we are not doing bhagavad gita for shanti we are going doing bhagavad gita for going back to god we are very clear we are paramarthik path that is very clear in the advanced stage of bhagavad gita if someone has come to bhagavatam stage then it's very clear he wants to go back to god and those people only will stay with us Other people will have lot of doubts. They will leave. Devota ka kya puja nahi kar sakte? Iska puja nahi kar sakte? Uska puja nahi. Sab kuch karo na. Koi you cannot go back to God and you will stay here. You stay there na. We are not telling that. We are not telling. Ana hi hai. Ana hi hai. Like kutta ko khinch khinch ke khinch khinch ke hum leke jaate hain. We are not telling you to like that. Tumko ana hi hai. Mat rao na. Idhar rao na. Who is telling you? but at least we are giving knowledge that this is material world this is spiritual world you choose if you if you come with us then this is what it is like that so uh, it's not that uh, we are forcing people 
to not do demigod worship you do demigod worship no problem but this is what it is we are a paramarthic path if one continues with us till till the end of his life he will be sure going back to god and or if he has something remaining next life definitely he will get some uh, uh, very good birth very special birth and uh, then he will complete definitely so at least this life uh, our target is to take people back to godhead or if they don't go back then next life uh, and the only you will see slowly slowly number will reduce number will reduce and well, why number is reducing why number is reducing because they want to stay in material world that's why the number is reducing those who want to stay in material world they cannot be with us throughout the life i am telling you i can write down those who want to go out of the material world they only can continue and there will be sufficient number of tests that will come from the material energy and you have to give the test so that you continue in this uh, college this college is to take you back to godhead if you are clear with it then continue if you still want nay nay i want some uh, good uh, antiseptic painkiller given by the demigods then join the demigods they will give you nice painkiller after that uh, then they will go away also from their post after that when you ask for the painkiller nahi wo to koi nahi hai wo de raha tha abhi price bad gaya then you give more price <laughs> भगवत गीता एडवांस लेक्चर नंबर वन you give them they will, they will understand and those who have understood you ask them also what did you understand that is also very important sometimes people may hear and they understand what they want to understand so you make them understand what is being spoken in the class and some will remain some will go what we can do so we are not here to worship demigods demigods are a part of material world they will make us a part of material world right demigods are mixed devotees of the lord we respect the demigods we worship the demigods but we don't pray to the demigods uh, uh, for material benediction we pray to the demigods for getting uh, getting us also helping us out, get out of the material world that's it okay yes thank you so shall we go ahead uh, we'll take these two three devotees question at least we go ahead otherwise a little bit ahead and then all three of you put your question on the message box okay i think sumit pru also put udharan krishn santanu pru you put your question okay we'll go ahead practical application so if krishna is personality of god supreme personality he could have blessed anga with material prosperity and taken him back home to godhead as he did for dhruva and sudama why did lord act differently for king anga though he is a descendant in the family of dhruva yes <clears throat> What is the answer? Hare Krishna Prabhu, Hare Dandavat. Ah, Dandavat, yeah. I think uh, the uh, King Anga, he was a king basically, and he was mature for him. But Dhruva Maharaj was a little boy, a very small boy. So mm. that's why he treated both King and Dhruva different. Okay, so Dhruva was a boy and King Anga was a mature person. That's why different. Okay, okay, okay. That's not the exact answer. Yes, Monali Samathi ji. Dhruva, Dhruva Prabhu. Ha, yes, Ravi Prabhu. Correct, Dhruva Prabhu. Yes. Each, each, each huh. jiva has different uh, consciousness. Ha. So, सब का अपने अपना कर्म के हिसाब से, you know, each each jiva has uh, has to face that. So, hmm. Anga and Dhruva, you can't compare them. So, Dhruva had a separate past. so he got what he wanted and anga has a separate past so he got what he deserves okay so anga had a different past and dhruva had a different past okay okay this is one thing okay manali samatha ji hey krishna prabhu ji that's a good question 
भी भगवान तभी देते हैं जब उनको श्योर है कि वो एंटेंगल नहीं हो जाएंगे ये मेटेरियल ऑपरेंस से लाइक सुदामा वॉज अ प्योर डिटी उनके पास धन हो ना हो ही लॉर्ड एंड ध्रुव महाराज को भी उन्होंने ऑपोनेंस तभी दिया हुआ ही बिकम प्योर टू इज एंडेवर साधना एंड भगवान जो शंख से टाच किए थे सो ही बिकम प्योर ऑलरेडी सो उनको दे या ना दे उनके पारमार्थिक इसमें कोई बाधा नहीं होगा वो ओके 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 बिकॉज़ लॉर्ड so there are two paths to reach to vishnu we cannot directly reach vishnu so the first path is through demigods or managerial path in this world or also the purohits or the priest or the brahmanas vedas the other path the second path through pure devotees so there is no question of coming uh, to uh, uh, there is no question of coming to vishnu directly we cannot approach vishnu directly we have to go through either the managerial path through the demigods through the purohits through the brahmanas of this world or through the pure devotees we cannot approach directly vishnu we have to approach him either of the two paths and based on the two paths which path we have chosen to approach vishnu Vishnu will award accordingly So if one is approaching through pure devotees Vishnu will behave with him in a different way one is approaching through purohis Vishnu will behave with him in a different way now for dhruva maharaj's case which path he took narad muni was his guru ha so he took this path this was dhruva this was anga
and because he took the path of purohit vishnu took gave him a managerial award he gave him a bad uh, he gave him the son he was supposed to get a bad son he got a bad son and then try tried to help him because he was a devotee how to advance in that situation like for example uh, uh, right now hari sayan ekadashi will come and from hari sayan ekadashi till dev uthan ekadashi no auspicious things are performed even marriages are not performed correct you know this that from uh, dev sayan ekadashi that the uh, next to next ekadashi is uh, that is coming is called dev sayan ekadashi and till dev uthan ekadashi from dev sayan till dev uthan nothing uh, is done or performed uh, auspicious things why because dev log sayan sayan ho jate hain dev log sayan ho jate hain demi gods are sleeping so we approach vishnu through the demi gods and because we approach through uh, the, uh, vishnu through demi gods and demi gods are sleeping so auspicious activities cannot be performed but all vaishnavas they do all auspicious activities janmashtami is there rath yatra is there all all major festivals are within this chaturmas only so one may wonder ki are how come in chaturmas which is an auspicious activities cannot perform kartik is coming in chaturmas how come uh, radhashtami is coming in chaturmas janmashtami is coming in chaturmas and chaturmas we have to do more fasting and uh, so that we advance more how it is possible because we are approaching vishnu through <coughs> this path through the pure devotees path which pure devotees do not sleep they are always abhyartha kalatvam they are always awake in helping the living entities so that is how because anga he chose this path that's why his uh, the uh, what he received was different and because dhruva Uh, choose the path of pure devotees and uh, narad muni rather krishna himself sent dhruva narad muni in his life and in anga maharaj's case also definitely it, uh, that is not mentioned but definitely since anga maharaj is in the coming and the descendant of dhruva was he not knowing of dhruva story he could have also approached narad muni correct ha huh? narad muni was uh, available and narad muni would be available for anga also don't think that narad muni was available for dhruva <clears throat> and he would be knowing also the story of dhruva but though he had the facility of approaching such great souls because he is coming in such a glorious line he chose to approach the purohits who gave him material guidance so whom we approach will depend on our course of life is this clear okay everyone put the question on the uh, type type the question because we'll go ahead then we'll take the question together okay is this clear so because dhruva approached a pure devotee that's the dif difference king anga approached the purohit <clears throat> so that means what what is the practical application the practical application is even if we have material desires even if we have material desires if we surrender to pure devotee then we'll get purified so even if we have material desires we should open up open up our heart of material desires to a pure devotee just like dhruva maharaj so what is the practical application here because this question is about this question is about practical application so what is the practical application the practical application is even if we have material desires we should try to approach pure devotees we should open our hearts to pure devotees just like dhruva maharaj said 
narad muni was you remember narad muni was telling are dhruva chhota bachcha you sit down and uh, tolerate it what narad muni is basically telling is telling the philosophy of chaitanya mahaprabhu trinada api suni chena taro riva sahishnuna amanina amanadena kirtaniya sada hari and what dhruva is telling oh narada this lord chaitanya's instructions is to ask come maybe good for great souls i am not a great soul i think you have misunderstood me i am a very fallen soul i have so much of material desires please help me so honesty to pure devotees opens the path of liberation this will be explained more in the next assignment the next assignment it will be explained in more elaboration <clears throat> about devotees okay so we will not discuss much more because it is be uh, explained more elaborately in next yes personal application and pitfall king anga saw the lord's loving hand even in advance the lord vishnu blessed him with a son instead of complaining he saw it as a opportunity to advance how do you see lord's hand in uh, make a list of practical points how many of you have done this question because it's a more practical question not a philosophical yeah anyone would like to say how you see lord's hand anyone who has not spoken Yes. ओके सो भक्ति करने को मिले सो दैट यू कैन डू भक्ति ओके एनी वन एल्स एनी वन एल्स हाउ टू सी लॉर्ड हैंड इन एडवर्सिटीज
Krishna created this whole situation to make me follow this. Yeah. So sometimes Krishna make uh, bring some adversities in someone's life and then they come to temple oh prabhu ji oh ka- kaha hai prabhu ji kaha hai prabhu ji kaha hai prabhu ji actually maya devi is the best teacher best preacher aise pitai karta hai aise pitai karta hai sab log bhagte hain mandir mein so ro ro ke aayega ro ro ke aayega and then then uh, uh, devotees through devotees some guidance and mentoring and counseling they may uh, understand yeah so everyone this is a more of a uh, uh, practical question what are the practical challenges in applying this principle in life yes yes anyone what are the practical challenges yes sunita mathe ji hari krishna hmm. um, so practical challenge in applying this principle is that when miseries comes into our life we might think that it is our destiny and won't endeavor to improve the situation yeah so one is that we can uh, definitely so we can uh, consider this as <coughs> this is what 3b okay so we can consider this as destiny and okay what else and we might have believing that uh, whatever is there in our destiny we will automatically get it okay so anyway everything is uh, based on destiny so why to uh, worry yes what else yes shama priya mata ji what a practical challenge prabhu we can get frustrated and uh, yeah uh, not see how in future it is something good for us okay we may get frustrated and depressed yes anyone else prasanjit you want to say something yeah hari krishna hmm uh yadi hamare paas spiritual master ya to guru nahi honge to wo adversity ko hum samajh nahi payenge okay Uh, so we may complain or curse krishna complain curse why me yes what else anyone yes last udaharan ah krishna prabhu oh prabhu ji like uh, our guru will be giving us some instructions hmm. and uh, then we should be getting instructions from material people also so if each may go to vidha pe pad jaate hmm 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 both are so equally kind of thing thoda but uh, it takes time to surrender completely so tug of war between uh, uh, devotees and non devotees yeah this is also very a good challenge one has when we are put in a situation non devotees will tell like recently just yesterday only you see the situation <clears throat> so one person's uh, sister passed away okay one of our employee in temple who who also takes spiritual guidance from me uh, his sister passed away sister was very uh, young and uh, i think uh, she was poisoned by the in laws and they have put a case and all those things passed away she is just 25 year old girl uh, with a small 3 year old baby so that sister passed away because she was poisoned you know, whatever she passed away and then uh, this boy asked me ki prabhu ji how to do the antyashti kriya it's not a normal death and you know she is so young i said since she was so young and it's not a normal death you just do in the vaishnav riti 3 days and the fourth day like today you do some uh, puja archana and all those things you do in the uh, in mayapur itself and uh, in mayapur many of the devotees i said you contact any devotee in mayapur who does this uh, sraddha kriya and all uh, they will do it in uh, prabhupad ghat in mayapur he contacted many devotees and many devotees said ki this is not a normal death and uh, you should uh, go to gaya and offer pindadan then only it will happen then he called me back yesterday evening ki prabhu ji all devotees in mayapur telling go to gaya i said are what kind of devotees they are there entire brahmand ka all the holy places including gaya is in mayapur 
in Navadip. Lord Chaitanya has appeared in Navadip. They are staying in Nahapur and telling you to go to Gaya. Huh? This is the foolishness. This is how it is uh, that uh, we need to understand when we are put in a situation, our real color comes out. The person is staying in Mahapur, his real color is coming out. No, 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 Gaya Jana, ye aswabhavik death hai. Ye to Gaya me hi pindadhan karne se thik ho ga. Ye Mahapur me thik pindadhan karne se thik nahi ho ga. And no one is ready to do his pindadhan there. Then I said, then he said ki Prabhuji, thik hai, mein Navadvi side chala jata ho. Mahapur me koi nahi kar raha hai. Prabhupad Ghat me, I will do in Navadvi by some Pujari. I said, oh, go to Navadvi, go to Pujari. Whatever you do, you do it in Mayapur only and uh, chant Hare Krishna, everything will be all right. This is how it is. Our real color comes out when we are put in situation. Whether we are uh, actually a Mayapur Vasi or we are still thinking of Gaya. Huh? So, I was shocked that how can someone a resident of Mayapur, so Ati Parichayat, Abhagya. Too much familiarity to dham. We are reading, we are hearing. Mahapur dham ki jai, Mahapur dham ki jai. In Mangala Arti, Mangala Charan, we are singing Mahapur dham ki jai. And Mahapur, what is meaning of Mahapur dham ki jai? Huh? Someone is dying, you go to Gaya to do Pindadan. Huh? So, this is how. Uh, when, when one person is put into adversity, his real color, real color will come out whether he has real faith on the instructions of the scriptures uh, or not, right? So, definitely there is a tug of war going on in the mind that are ye bola hai gaya, Sri Nitaidas bola hai Mayapur, what to do? Uh, then he said ki Prabhuji, thik hai, aap jo bol rahe hai, mein karo ga. Mein bola, mein nahi bol raha hai, saastra bol raha hai, ki Mayapur dham mein gaya hai. You tell me, uh, Pavan Krishna, where is Pavan Krishna? Gaya is there in pa uh, Mayapur or not? What Bhakti Vinod, what Bhakti Vinod Thakur says in Navadip Mahatmya? Uh, he says that Hariyar Kshetra is not different from Gaya and Varanasi Yes, see. So, that means uh, the person, we need to understand that uh, whether we have really faith on the scriptures or not will be tasted when we are put into adversities. So, uh, uh, and that is how we need uh, uh, Guru in our life. And that Guru also, they are also acting as Gurus. Na? <laughs> what they are telling, go to Gaya. I said, you choose Prabhuji. But uh, I am telling you this. And then he said, no, no, Prabhu, I have faith on you. I said, okay, first put faith on the scriptures. First, we have to have faith on the scriptures. Sastras are telling, there is no question of doubt. Whether Guru is telling or not telling, Sastras are telling. Sometimes, if we don't have faith on scriptures, we may get bewildered. Some Guru will tell something, another Guru will tell something else. So, that's why first, our basis of faith is, not Guru. Our basis of faith is Sastras. And because Guru is telling according to Sastras, that's why we put faith on Guru. Correct? Otherwise, we may get bewildered. This so many types of Gurus may come. Right? And they have come to India and uh, they have uh, gullible uh, masses have been cheated by them. So, this is how... Uh, this was just an example. Funny thing, myself and Mahapava and Nitai were laughing and laughing and laughing hearing this and uh, we had a nice laugh. Okay, <clears throat> so this is what we covered. Um, what could King Anga have done to avoid this adversity of having a son like Bena? Yes, anyone? Very simple question. Uh, yes. Actually, he could have uh, consulted with his uh, spiritual master or guru before uh, taking that decision, but he took a wrong decision. So, he should have consulted case. some devotees, he should have consulted yeah. some guru, he should have consulted guru. Narada. Right? And then he would have acted. And this is a very simple question. We have discussed elaborately on this. We will not discuss more. Do we ourselves 
uh, act like anga how can we avoid acting like anga right there is also simple answer yes sorry Okay, so now four B will discuss little elaborately, a little bit. So now, can anyone say what is the difficulty in not being able to do this consultation? Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, so we have attachment. We are attached to our attachments. So that is why we are little fearful. Okay. What else? Ah. Ha, tendency to uh, hide things. Tendency to be dishonest. We are something within and sowing something else. Yes. Who else? Uh, Hare Krishna Prabhuji. Hmm. Prabhuji, 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 अरे तुम अभी इतना बड़ा हो गया है और क्या तुम यू नो ये पूछ रहा है ऐसे पूछेंगे लोग क्या कहेंगे ओके व्हाट एल्स हां हरे कृष्ण तुम एक्चुअली व्हाट टू टेक शेल्टर इन फ्रंट ऑफ सो वी डोंट वांट टू टेक शेल्टर ओके डोंट वांट टू टेक शेल्टर व्हाट एल्स लास्ट पॉइंट एक एक बोलो जैसे माता जी ने कहा प्रो कि वो जैसे ओवर कॉन्फिडेंस होता है कि इसके लिए क्या पूछना है इतना कर तो ले मैं समझता ही हूं कि मेरे लिए क्या बेटर है इतना छोटी सी सो दिस इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट सो वी राइट डाउन इन बिग बिग लेटर्स ओवर कॉन्फिडेंस वी हैव टू मच फेथ ऑन आवर ओन एबिलिटीज एंड दैट इज द रीजन we uh, uh, do not take consultation here here is one point guru material plus ah uh, yeah so we also see uh, guru in a very material way to wo kya bolega usko kya pata hai kaise okay yes next so next five and list situations where characters from scripture saw adversities positively and uh, characters who saw in uh, negatively okay in 2 minutes we'll do a very fast who saw positively okay anyone who saw positively bidura he left when duryodhan yeah very good example bidura he saw positively yes anyone else parikshit maharaj parikshit maharaj parikshit very good example yes कुंती महारानी कुंती महारानी कुंती महारानी गजेंद्र मोक्षा ओके गजेंद्र ऑल्सो ओके हाँ द्रौपदी पॉजिटिवली नहीं देखी थी द्रौपदी तो बोली कि युद्ध कब होगा ओके ओके वस्त्र आरण में पॉज ओके से दैट इज नॉट द आंसर फॉर दिस दैट इज नॉट द द्रौपदी नॉट द्रौपदी का प्रभु व्हेन आई हैड फाइव सन्स पास्ड अवे स्टिल शी वाज वेरी फॉरगिविंग फॉर अशोकथामा दैट कैन कैन हां बट दैट इज देयर दैट इज फॉरगिविंग बट ही डिडंट सी इट एज अ पॉजिटिव थिंग इवन गजेंद्र इज आल्सो नॉट द राइट एग्जांपल कुंती सॉ कुंती सॉ द सॉ इट कुंती सॉ वाट विपदा संतुता सत्व तत्र तत्र जगद्गु 
so uh, he saw that let more vipad come because when the vipad come i see your lotus feet kunti is a right example yes i am priya madhu ha yudhishthir mara ha yudhishthir mara ji is a right example yudhishthir is the right example haridas haridas thakur is not the right example how he saw positive Shila Prabhupada always. Shila Prabhupada, we can say everything. Do actually Haridas Sakshar has been given in the going to marketplace, but he still canting and he shows. But that is that is a quality of tolerance. That is a quality of compassion. But here it is basically explained that some adversity came. How you saw it positively? It was for my good only. It was for my good only, like that. Like Kunti Maharaj is telling, it is for my good only. Parikshit is telling, it is for my good only. Vidura is telling, for my good, I can go to Tirtha Stan, right? Yudhishthir also said, it is for my good that अरे शहर में जब रहता था, no साधुस का आते थे, but अभी मैं साधुओं के बीच में बीच आ गया, कितना अच्छा हो गया, मेरा सब चला गया, like that. हाँ, Narad Muni is a Narad Muni is a very good example. Narad Muni is who passed away? Mother. Mother passed Mother. away. Narad Muni saw it as a ha. Now Shama Priya can say what? Prabhu Chitra Ketu Maharaj. Prabhu when he was first. Ah, Chitra Ketu Maharaj is a negative example. So we'll write here. Yes, Muni was then Parvati and Mother. Who who Shama? So that is so ha. So Chitra Ketu both negative bhi hoga and positive hoga. So we'll write both. Uh, Bhishma. How Bhishma? Uh, when he was in his, on his deathbed, he utilized that opportunity to go back to Warhead. Okay, that is there. That is there. That is there. But um, not Bhishma, exactly Avanti fitting. Brahman. Avanti, Brahman. Ah, Avanti Brahman is the right example. He saw it. Uh, saw the people were spitting on him. People are urinating on him. Can you imagine? People were urinating on him. Avanti Brahman. And then Avanti Brahman is telling, "This is good. This is good. It is helping me to get detached from this uh, name, fame, and all these things. Actually, they are not uh, doing anything for me. Actually, it is my mind who is creating problem. So, uh, so Avanti Brahman. So, uh, good, good. Jad Bharat, ha, Jad Bharat, something not a very strong example. These are all strong examples which are said. Vidura is a very strong example. Parikshit." Kunti is a very strong example. You this here. Narad Muni is a very very strong example. Uh, Chitra Ketu, yes, strong example. Avanti is a very strong example. So now we'll go to. Uh, oh, Shila Prabhupada. Ah, uh, Shila Prabhupada everywhere we can put Shila Prabhupada name. So let's. Last time we saw the vajra, so he realized he gets killed, but he knows it's for his own benefit. Vitrasur, Vajra. Ah, Vitrasur, Vitrasur. Uh, Vitrasur also saw the positive thing like this Vajra. will take him to spiritual world you say ha uh, yes negative will see now negative because we are also negative so negative thoda this is prithrashtra prabhu ji negative prithrashtra gandhari prabhu gandhari okay okay gandhari gandhari yes gandhari cursed krishna gandhari is the right karna prabhu ha kana karna 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 ha karna कर्ण राइट एक शिशुपाल इज राइट अश्वथामा प्रभु अश्वथामा अश्वथामा व्हाट एडवर्सिटी हु वाज पुट ही वाज गोइंग टू बी किल्ड बाय अर्जुन एट दैट टाइम एंड देन ही अगेन यूजेस हां हां ठीक है इट इज नॉट अ स्ट्रांग एग्जांपल प्रभु जी सुरुचि 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 हाउ कि व्हाट एडवर्सिटी हु वाज पुट ही वाज नॉट पुट इन एडवर्सिटी हाँ दीति वेरी गुड वेरी गुड दीति दीति इज अ वेरी गुड एग्जाम्पल यू पुट इन एन एडवर्सिटी ऑफ सन चला गया एंड देन हाउ ही रिएक्टेड हाउ सी रिएक्टेड घुमा फिरा के पूरा हस्बैंड को राइट यस ऐसे बोल ओके सुनीति सुनीति विल बी इन पॉजिटिव सुनीति विल बी पॉजिटिव चांद का जी ओके लेट्स नॉट गो टू माया कई कई माता जी 
Kai Kai was put in adversity. No, he, she was not put in adversity. She herself put herself in adversity. ओकेट्स गो आहेड ओपन हां गो डाउन इवन ध्रुव महाराज लॅमेंटेड फॉर हॅविंग मटेरियल डिझायर लेटर समज नाही आ रहा इट्स नॉट क्वेश्चन ओके हाऊ कृष्णा हेल्प्स द मध्यम अधिकारी टू प्रोग्रेस फर्दर ए प्रॅक्टिसिंग डिवोटी ट्राइज टू फॉलो इंस्ट्रक्शंस टू सो बट सम मटेरियल मिजरीज आल्सो कम्स सो हाऊ कॅन वी अंडरस्टैंड देम एज लव ऑफ कृष्णा टू हेल्प द डिवोटी गो डाउन और ओके you would progress in spiritual path <coughs> okay so how krishna helps a madhyam first of all we have to become madhyam adhikari right now we must be fully convinced that we are kanishtha adhikari okay. hare krishna ha so uh, right now we have to be fully convinced that uh, uh, we are kanishtha adhikari and uh, uh, how to progress further so uh, we take sometimes instructions of spiritual master and there are miseries in our life so definitely there will be miseries in our life uh, uh, so these miseries are uh, uh, can only create uh, so there is two things we need to understand one is called pain and another is called suffering so pain is through the destiny suffering is through our response to destiny so we may get some pain in life based on our destiny so <coughs> so material miseries or uh, or uh, according to our destiny we may get some pain in our life right but based on the response to our destiny it will depend whether we will suffer in that or will not suffer in that so this is very important destiny will come but suffering can be uh, restricted based on how we respond to destiny this is first thing second things sometimes the pain and suffering both may come as a test just like uh, a uh, uh, what do you say a student a student he is a very sincere student but he says ki sir class bahut acha lagta hai aapka exam acha nahi lagta hai class mein aap pata hai kitna acha batate hain सब स्टोरी बताते हैं बहुत अच्छा लगता है आपका क्लास बट ही लाइक द एग्जाम इज इट पॉसिबल कैन एनी वन से इज इट पॉसिबल इट्स नॉट पॉसिबल सो सम वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड द फर्स्ट थिंग इज दैट डेस्टिनी गिव्स अ स्पेन आवर रेस्पॉन्स टू डेस्टिनी will uh, decide whether we will suffer that pain or not suffer that pain second sometimes pain and miseries come in our life as a test for our faith whether really we have faith on krishna and that taste has to come has to come right
and third thing okay third thing is not relevant here because the question is about kanishta dikai <coughs> so these are the two things uh, 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 for uh, uh, practicing devotees that uh, our response to the destiny will uh, result whether we will suffer or not second it is uh, we need to give the exam now how how can we progress now the question is okay this is understanding so how can we progress in a situation like this so when a, when a devotee faces some uh, miseries and all he understands that instead of uh, Okay. So when a devotee faces a problem, he doesn't analyze the cause. He finds out, okay, this is the situation now. In this situation, what best I can do to serve Krishna? So he doesn't try to find out why this situation has come. Whether this situation has come because of my destiny, whether this situation has come because as a test of Krishna, whether this situation has come because I misused my free will, how this situation has come, no one knows. Right? Neither a devotee tries to find out the cause of the situation. Okay, this situation I have been put. And then I need to find out, figure ways, figure out ways how to advance in, in this situation. And the third and the next thing is, a devotee needs to have faith that Krishna loves me based on Bhagavad Gita. Krishna says in Bhagavad Gita, those who worship me, I love them, I give them more special attention. Right? Samoham Sarva Bhuteshu, uh, uh, that uh, I am equal to everyone. Name Dveshti Stina Priyaha, I don't envy anyone, I don't love anyone. Samoham Sarva Bhuteshu, I am equal to everyone. Ye Bhajanti Tu Maam Bhaktya. Uh, so, but those who do my bhajan and become my devotees, Te Pi Ti Chapyaham. I give them some little bit extra advantage. So, we must have faith on the uh, principle of Bhagavad Gita that, that Krishna will definitely give me more favor than the materialist. I am his devotee. I am trying to be his devotee, trying to uh, uh, worship him and serve him. So, and the next thing is the devotee tries to find out lessons and how to transform himself so he he uh, finds out how i can make this situation a personal transformation for my personal transformation like uh, when i faced uh, so uh, i am facing now also so much of uh, uh, stomach problems uh, and I am practically not able to eat anything <laughs> apart from khichdi and some little little items. So I saw it, ki, what a great uh, uh, privilege now it is that I cannot eat anything and I can offer so much of respect. My respect for prasadam has increased. My uh, uh, Also, uh, I understood that this is something which was uh, uh, there for a brahmachari some attachment the brahmachari can have for uh, food only. Now, if this is also gone, so it is gone. Now, there is nothing uh, that can uh, a brahmachari can be attached in this world. So, in this way, one should see a situation for one's personal transformation. 
yes this situation has come means this is required for me so that faith one has to have so ye mere jeevan mein aaya matlab ye mere liye upyukt tha zarurat tha bhagwan ne sanction kiya hai and now i have to find out how i can serve krishna in this situation and how i can transform myself in this situation okay uh till what point we will understand that we are exploiting our free will as our desires though they are getting purified but they are not gone completely so how we can understand we are exploiting them so long our basic krishna consciousness is not affected we have don't have to worry so we need to fix a boundary to our basic krishna consciousness bena in his childhood used to remove the heads of his friends used to play like a, how can it be believed five years child how can he do this uh, okay so uh, the five year old child of kaliyuga and five year old child of uh, satyuga were different so uh, how can we believe five year old child dhruva went uh, to forest and he was fasting for six months so they were satyuga products right even now also i see my father more uh, my father can digest many more things than what i can digest <laughs> so i can understand yeah one generation before only so much of change is there so if so many generation before satyuga product definitely you will be a great soul <laughs> on a on a material terms so in that way we can understand that that he was a five year old child of uh, satyuga okay ah uh, yes okay so he is telling our sub krishna pro is telling seven year old boy Uh, in uh, us has sought his teacher so why can't a five year old boy uh, remove the head so it is possible you have to have the right instrument he is telling <laughs> so i think he has the right instrument to kill okay anyone else okay no the concept of prayas ati prayas and karma vad dharma vad was not discussed yes we will discuss this in the next class in the uh, in the second assignment so this will come in the second assignment we'll discuss that elaborately <coughs> okay hare krishna thank so, you uh ah. so just one this like you told in the first answer mm-hmm. i'm just trying to understand it mm-hmm. that uh, for mixed devotees can we think like that just like you know krishna acts like a gps he gives the route to come to him but if we deroute then again he will give the newer route but because and it may be longer because of our choice only we may have to struggle more to reach the destination but for mixed devotees he will uh, like i was hearing this in rajeshampur's class only that is god's positioning system he tells so he does unless and until he says the offend devotees he will always uh, reroute our path but because if we don't follow the already path given and we deroute then newer path will be there which may be difficult full of jam But so beyond uh, beyond uh, Vaishnava parad, there is also something called Jana parad. So uh, it's not that just Vaishnava parad, but uh, if someone is very offensive to other living entities, exploiting other living entities, and still considering himself as a mixed devotee, then also Krishna may withdraw, giving his uh, positioning or uh, compass or direction to that person, and Krishna may hand him over to the materialistic. Uh, Uh, consider him a materialistic person and hand over them him to the system of karma so it's not just about the vaishnava parad we need to understand that uh, uh, sarva bhuta hite uh, uh, so in all the uh, all the living entities hriday sarva bhuta hriday uh, krishna avasthita uh, ishvara avasthita so one has to understand that god is seated in everyone's heart and one should not offend other people also materialistic people also if one has an offensive mentality even to the offensive peop- uh, um, uh, outside people like i see sometimes people are devotees they say oh ye to meat eater hai ye to alcoholic hai ye to wo hai wo to ye hai wo to ye hai so these are all offensive mentality okay he is a meat eater you don't eat meat and if you can help him to come out of meat eating fine if you cannot help him theek hai fine we will let him eat meat and let him be on the uh, uh, he will get the karma he will go to hell and let him do what is your point why you have to condemn and uh, why you have to uh, um, uh, disrespect or exploit him 
और ठीक है ओके नो प्रॉब्लम वी कैन गिव हिम साधु प्रदेश सो ए डिवोट ही डजेंट कंडेम एनी वन ही डजेंट क्रिटिसाइज एनी वन ही सीज एवरी वन विथ कंपैशन सो इफ ही डज ऑल्सो जना अपराध देन ऑल्सो कृष्णा में विदड्रॉ राइट वैष्णव अपराध डेफिनेटली बट इफ यू जना अपराध but if he is just uh, doing all sinful activities for like for example uh, that is why out of the four sinful activities which uh, is uh, jana aparad meat eating meat eating very good so that is how uh, it is said that if a person if a mixed devotee starts breaking even four regulatory principles still krishna will not withdraw till the time the person starts eating meat As soon as the person starts eating meat, then Krishna immediately withdraws and puts him in the materialistic category. So meat eating is jana parad. So uh, the meat, uh, the uh, the fishes, the chickens, and all those things, they are jana janas of the Lord, right? So this is jana parad. It's not that we have to have only do version of that. Similarly, a person may uh, uh, do illicit sex, and even in illicit sex also he may do forcefully illicit sex. Then it is jana parad. right then also but if one is uh, doing illicit sex uh, and uh, gambling gambling is also jana aparad can also be if it is cheating to someone right so in that way jana aparad is also that these uh, uh, sinful activities can also be included in jana aparad so if a devotee does jana aparad also he will also uh, uh, krishna will withdraw his mercy from uh, Right. so one has to be very careful of uh, unnecessarily troubling the living entities right is this clear anyone else yes thank you i hope uh, this assignment uh, is uh, clear to everyone so bhai ek chota sa question yes sudama ke bare mein aapne bataya hai kaun sa sudama one year block वैराग्य that i am a very great vairagi i am you see i am such a poor but still i am uh, happy to be poor so that little bit he has so krishna wanted to uh, purify that that's why krishna gave okay okay hari bol shila prabhu pad ki chai shri krishna bhagwan ki chai hari krishna